Sam, oh. welcome. Hey, yeah. look at us. Yeah, yeah, look at us. Back at it. It's been, uh, yeah, the last man. time you were here, we drank 17 bottles of wine in the backyard. Yeah. You got that tater tot pizza that upset me deeply. <laughs> oh my god, that's right, dude. Yeah. Why, why, like, how could that upset you? That was, I was a like wonderful pizza. I mean, I ate a slice <laughs> and was like, okay, but when it arrived, I was like, fucking hell, Connor. <laughs> dude, the combo, the combos. Dude, yeah. I had it's, it's definitely not a, a choose your own, right? Well, I was scrolling through and mm -hmm. I saw it and I said, "That this looks like a, that looks you like, were like finally a taste of old Napoli, <laughs> <laughs> right here in Queens." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucked by Cleveland somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah well, was... everyone was so excited because Chris comes out and the boxes are I know. half his height, and yeah. I'm like, For, "This is gonna feed everybody." Right. Yeah, flip the lid. Yeah, and then we turned, he did a nice thing for everybody, and we were like, what the fuck? I would <laughs> yeah. never eat this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. My mode, if I'm ordering drunk pizza, is like get as much on the pizza <laughs> as, possi yeah. as possible mm -hmm. so that, you know, everyone will be full. Yeah, who knows fortified, who knew fortified wine would change your taste buds <laughs> and kill everything? Yeah, I mean, we drank all that wine, and then I switched it over to, like, Guinness and rum. <laughs> it was just the wheels <laughs> fell off. <laughs> Like we were having a nice time. We did that cooking video, and then just in the backyard, being like, you know who else sucks? <laughs> <laughs> we did do the alphabet of shit talk, yeah. dude. It really bonded us. Also, I yeah. just unlocked the cheat code. Dude. Dude. This is <laughs> unfucking believable. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the double. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. This hey, is core, take nice. the day off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm an individual chair. You're sitting on yeah. a smash burger. Holy fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to be back here. Yeah. Well, Walking into the Greater Philadelphia podcast mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is your <laughs> second trip. To yeah. you just did uh, Gardini's. I just came from Gardini's. Yeah. Hey, what's his pad look like? It's uh, impeccable. Yeah. So that, there's a guy Shane who did yeah. who does stand up who yeah. lives there. Nice. Shane O'Connor. He's, he's yeah. very well put together and it's nice. It's kind of Spartan. Not a lot of like. It's there's no aesthetic to that place. Uh, yeah. You know. There's nothing on the walls. But, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Still clean. Doesn't reek like cigs. I thought I was gonna fucking reek in there. And he smoke outside? Yeah. yeah, he goes out on the, uh, I think he walks through Shane's room and goes and stands out on like a yes, he does. patio. On a catwalk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I just wish we could smoke inside. I was like, no, you don't. No, <laughs> you little dipshit. When I was 25, we smoked inside all the time. That was like our thing. And it sucked and no one got laid. Yes. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. It's disgusting. I always smoked some cigars in here and that it's only different. lasts for like a day. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't really stick around right no no those ones those ones didn't seem to the small boys were yeah they were nice i might they do were. it again tonight why not yeah do a cigar tonight yeah we're gonna fire up the patio we're gonna get that all done up nice yeah. <laughs> this is every spring yeah, <laughs> this yeah. Is every spring. something nice dude we're gonna get that patio <laughs> ripping this summer we're gonna put in all the vines and the grapes <laughs> dude, <laughs> make it all uh, as soon as as soon as the grass starts growing i'm like fuck that place yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's too much once, to do yeah. uh -huh. we barbecued a shitload last year mm. we have three three barbecues on film and that's an we, we uh, ten ten <laughs> Take two our barbecues. <laughs> Jesus I heard there Christ. was like a we we shot stuff, we cooked out there, but we didn't really spend. Other than hanging, we hung out with you. Mm -hmm. We got to get new new furniture. That's why it's not it's not like this. We need we need yeah. some, patio furniture. Though. Some leather. opulent leather. Yeah, yeah, we need some leather. And but some it's also umbrellas. just like you just cook back there, kind of. Well, it's you know got a dirty I mean? vibe to it. You have yeah, an outdoor yeah. oven? What do you got? No, we just have the, the big That was a plan we had last grill. year. You guys got the fucking La Crusettes put in the stone brick oven yeah, back there. Yeah, yeah. That, I thought about we building an oven. Yeah. yeah. I looked it up. It's not that not that hard. It's not that tough. Mm -mm. It's got to just be a couple of cinder blocks, right? <laughs> you can do it with cinder blocks. <laughs> no, I mean like making There's people a... in Haiti roasting whole pigs. You guys can fucking figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was talking about like a proper pizza oven too. Yeah. Like you can make a... The one with the dome? Yeah. 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 You need to like know how to do masonry when you do the dome though. I don't I watched this dude's tutorial and I was like, I think we could pull it off. He Brother, gets all autistic. I've watched a lot of dudes' it. tutorials and been like, tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you wake up with a bottle cap and your belly button, you're like, <laughs> fuck that, dude. Uh, you order a tater tot pizza, you're like, this is easy. Yeah. It would be a nice little project. You wake up with a slur written on your forehead and also the <laughs> Sharpie in your hand. <laughs> what? what happened? It's backwards until you look in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Fag. Oh, <laughs> dude, I, uh, I'm considering the problem is you got to break it down. I'm afraid the landlord would say some shit because we do have half cement, half grass. Uh, yeah. We got a nice platform to do whatever we wish. Yeah. But then, you know. Well, what, what, that, they wouldn't be upset if you build a pizza oven back there. They'd be I, thrilled. I'd be upset if I had to leave. I'd be like an aggressive fucking Dego. Like, 
You know how like you watch those nature shows and they have to like break their encampment down to smash sledgehammer in my pizza <laughs> so nobody gets to I'm use killing it. my baby. <laughs> just have our neighbor drive into it. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Sam, I, we told this story on the last episode, but yeah. it was the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> After neighbor. so this brick up brick wall uh -huh. is brand new with the fence over it, and this lady, uh, this old like she might be eighty five <laughs> Eastern European woman, and she had this little like Miata. T size car yeah and there's only like 20 feet one day one night i get awoken by this car smashed to our brick brick wall with the wheels going and it's the bricks are all over the the backyard i mean completely no. obliterated the fucking wall took out like 50 year old rose bushes the italians were very upset oh yeah she didn't apologize she didn't bring over any danish or anything like that like, you brought a bag of bagels. You never fucked up our wall. No, not yet. <laughs> so anyway, I have not used the toilet today, gentlemen. Although, although what, yeah. is, what is the gift that you bring if you've destroyed someone's wall? Dude. That, that would be a panic a attack. A pecan part time with birthdays. You got a salad of bricks. Yeah. <laughs> and a couple of your nephews. Yeah, a new fence. Yeah. And she, last night, or the last week, we're getting done. It wasn't even last week. It was like five days ago? Or was it last yeah, week? Yeah, yeah, it was last week. After the first uh, after the first episode, Chris and I are just like fucking around, yeah, and checking our phones. All yours. Oh no! And I was like, "What the fuck was that?" And he goes, "Maybe she ran into the wall again." We had a nice ch chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> I opened the door. She fucking did it again, but to that way. No. She runs a, a brand new C three hundred Mercedes. That how does she do? That? There's <laughs> not enough room to get that speed. There's no ramming speed in an alleyway. Dude, dude. dude, all the liquids are flowing out of the car. It's smoking. <laughs> She's on the hood of the car, just going. <laughs> no, not no. again. They can't get another oh, shot. <laughs> The woman took a brand new <laughs> seat. Gave me another <laughs> shot. <laughs> As if there was like a <laughs> like a probationary period. And they're like, all right, Marcella. <laughs> you, you put know, in the time. You know, she, <laughs> she immediately put it in the drive. <laughs> just turned around and like scared <laughs> Free at last. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you can see the dis like she was rolling her head on the back. And it wasn't like I'm hurt. She was so like, I guess, dreading calling her, and her son and being like, "You she gotta come see this." She like, literally like again. wilted over the hood. Oh man, it was. This yeah. time it wasn't a shitty car. It was a brand new Mercedes, and I remember them showing her the Mercedes. Uh huh. And I was like, "There's no way they're gifting her this nice car." And I just assumed maybe they just parked it there, and she was like, "Oh, this is really nice." Yeah. And then maybe she just broke out, found the keys. You know? Yeah, she had like an advent calendar. <laughs> 30 days. The last day there was keys in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just Fuck, piece, pieces of cheese. Have you, discuss, you ever talked to this woman? Or? No. no, she doesn't ever. I mean, I see her walk out every now and then, but she doesn't <laughs> make a hard time getting out of the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every time she does, calamity strikes. <laughs> yeah, it's like the serial killer chains where they can only move a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> She's real, though. You know, like, you've She's seen definitely her. real. It's I not her. Lorona. I see her once a week. Yeah. Yeah, and I never, never, ever... I mean, she probably doesn't know it's us that live here. Yeah. Because there's so many people going in and out, mm -hmm. so she's never been like, hey, I'm sorry about Damn. the whole wall and rose bush thing. Yeah. The but the poor woman. Thing. How many? How many generations of people have tended those roses? I'm, I'm telling you, dude. He would every every summer at the end of the summer he would clip. I'd say upwards on each bush like forty roses. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. And he would. I don't know what he would do. And probably sell them to like a local fucking. And put him on his wife's grave. <laughs> <laughs> She's alive. He died. He died. Ooh. But uh, jokes on him. <laughs> yeah. He's he's cheap he as died fuck. With so I could see bushes. him yeah. selling him selling those roses somewhere. Yeah. He was unbearably cheap. What do you make for 40 roses? Like $12? I do. The, I don't know. These were perfect roses. Yeah. yeah. How much do roses cost? Organic, organically grown. You know, these aren't. Are they the big, roses. like, fat, like, baby yes. face? Real big ones. Yeah. Those, yeah, those are, those go for a nice pretty penny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? It's got to be at My least. My grandfather kept roses. Really? Yeah. And he would always win the uh, Elbert County, uh, like, uh, Parade of Homes. He would win it? Yeah, because he had the best roses in oh. Colorado. Yeah. And I mean, he was competing against like trailers and a place we called the Crab Shack. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a bunch Wait, of fans. It was a rose, stiff competition. A rose growing competition. It was the Parade of Homes, you know, where they like, you no. come in like, you didn't have the Parade of Homes? No. Here? Yeah. So like people in uh, typically tonier neighborhoods would show off like what they've done with their verandas and like how cool their topiaries are. Tonier. 
Yeah, yeah. I like that. Like yeah. Greeks and Italians. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> I didn't say swarthy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant like there's more Tony. Like guys named Tony? No. <laughs> like an Anthony or neighborhood. No, I meant like reserved opulence. Oh, like okay. people who are trying to hide their wealth, gotcha. but yet they're like... <laughs> No, not, not men <laughs> named Anthony. <laughs> not a bunch of guys in guinea slings. Because so, look, I'm in a Tony or neighborhood. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Subaru <laughs> Brat in the garage. <laughs> That's what I describe a story. It's like a Tony or neighborhood, yeah. you know? It is applicable. Uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. No. Uh, homophones. Yeah. yeah. And homophobes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. I got no phobes. No, Tonys do, though. <laughs> Tonys <laughs> absolutely do. They live in fear of getting their dick sucked accidentally. <laughs> I can't go to the BFW. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was talking to Naeem Ali the other day, and he was saying, he's like, dude, I don't eat hot dogs. I don't eat popsicle. Like, he, dude, he, he eats nothing up. dick-shaped. That is so ridiculous. Wow. What about an ice cream cone? Will he lick a cone? Nope. Who is wow. this? Naeem. Naeem? Yeah, nah, yeah. It's, that means he's sucking dick. Dude, I was anyone like, that's yelling from a rooftop, it's like priests do that shit, and they're blowing some dude in a fucking Roy Rogers truck stop. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And You're I was going, like, that's crazy, dude, to live a life like that. Like yeah. that's I will that's say ridiculous. And and then his 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 ex wife or whatever was like, yeah, no, no, you don't eat hot dogs in public. <laughs> I was wow. like, this is what's shaping you. Well, but that is kind of this black fucking- culture. It's like you remember that 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 whole like Twitter and. Instagram, they catch their buddy eating a hot dog, and yeah. they all go, glitzy, whatever the fuck, and they, yeah. <laughs> they post it online, and everyone just calls him gay. Yep. That's nuts. Just enjoying yeah. a hot dog at a football game? Uh-uh. Yeah, you got to eat a hot dog in the bathroom with the mirrors on the ground with the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> Something happened to you. I don't know your buddy, but hey, you're just <laughs> he's running. Eating it lengthwise? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can hear corn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love a nice hot dog. Yeah, I was in I Providence, yeah. they took me to some place called New York System. I pounded like six hot dogs. Yeah, it was great. You find a good one. That you know? it's, yeah. today is Hot Dog Day. This is it's a kickoff yeah, of baseball. Yeah. It is. It's official Dick in the Mouth Day. It yeah. is a Dick in the Mouth Day. We should have hot dogs tonight. I'd do it. I'll make. I have a hot dogs. dog right now. Does I Philadelphia do a regional hot dog? As why? You say I'm gay. <laughs> I said I'm, I'm not gay. I'm hot dog right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. What a I'll revelation that would have been <laughs> to just whisper into the mic. I'll have a hot dog. Yeah. I'm gay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we don't. Th- I, th- I don't think we have a regional hot dog. Have no. set? I mean, like um, a, like a way they dress it or like a topping. Oh no, no, no. 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 It's very standard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Practice ketchup, mustard, relish. If, yeah. if yeah. you're fucking nuts, onions, relish. If you're great. Donier, I love relish. Love green relish. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Electric yeah. green relish. Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I, it's too sweet. It. It's like yeah. That's why you gotta have the celery salt to balance it off. Oh wow! Yeah, this is a Chicago type shit. They do that there. They also did it in Providence. They had like a hot dog with a bunch of celery salt on it. Celery salt. Because mm-hmm. it's kind of like a bitter, savory flavor that cancels out that green. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's popular in barbecue. Yeah. Celery salt. Uh-huh. What do they just dehydrate celery and put salt in there? I don't know. No, it's the seeds, I believe. Probably the seeds are like the, uh, the and leaves they salt on the, the seeds? celery. Yeah, I don't know. But it's really good. I've never seen the seeds of celery. Oh, they're, yeah. they're in there. In the celery? Yeah, that's how they give birth a second time. <laughs> that's how they have sex with each other. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the bottom of it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did it. Oh, that's just uh, that's Sorry, my brain's all in Skyrim, dude. I started playing Skyrim, which I knew nothing about. Yeah. And uh You got to explain what Skyrim is it's to people video that have sex video. You know what Skyrim is? I know it as a as a series of words. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like a video game. It's uh-huh. like a role-playing game. And it's just a whole, I don't know, it's like a Game of thrones kind of world. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just wandering around talking mm-hmm. to people. I, like, everyone's saying shit that's, like, I just don't understand. You know what I mean? It's all, there's, like, a thimble of the Thoras tree that ha- is, we need to restore for the yeah. magic to You have to find the grow. governor's cape. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It is that kind of stuff. And they're, they don't help you at all. Like, I always get tasks, and I don't know where to go. Mm-hmm. The, just before we sat down, I like I they were like, go to magic college. And I was like, done, dude. Finally, somebody <laughs> tell me what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and that's so how I ran for, like, two hours yeah. to magic school. Damn, this <laughs> they don't is, give you a horse? <laughs> and, uh, I tried to steal a horse. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet you did. You come from a long line of those. <laughs> 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 Fucking horse thieves. <laughs> yeah, dude. I stole a horse, and this guard came up to me. He was like, you can't steal a horse. And their options were, like, fight him, uh, just go to jail, 
or like pay him off. Uh-huh. And I paid him off, and then I just I can't took believe to you're jail. still telling the story. What do you mean? <laughs> this, he hasn't even got the magic card. Sorry, 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 it's not celery salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. Hey, I'm sitting different, oh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly Dude, this is I'm on an adventure in a fucking in a hellhole. I'm fucking. I'm now I'm just wandering around. Like, well, what happened was I got to college, and uh, the lady was like, "You need to cast this spell in uh-huh. order to get in," and I didn't have enough magic power to do it. Damn. So We've now I've been there. Now I'm just going around lighting wolves on fire with the one <laughs> spell I can do, trying to level up. Okay, so this that is I can, off. Yeah, <laughs> so I can go to magic college and uh-huh. figure out. <laughs> Just how who to be in this world. Yeah. I love how they put a college in there. Like they didn't want to create more characters that'd be <laughs> interesting mentors. They're like, just put them in a fucking college. Yeah. Dude. You know yeah. there's fucking clown colleges. Yeah. You gotta learn it's spells. Ma- it's magic school. It's just Harry Potter and all the gang that's in there and the fucking tarp gang banging. Yeah. yeah. You're all grown up now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Where'd you where'd you go to college? I went to Metro State University of Denver. Metro? Mm-hmm. I graduated in May of last year. Really? Metropolitan State. They oh, that's right. I saw that called. photo. Yeah. Really? Congratulations. Thanks, man. Yeah, I went back and got my last eight credits. That's wow. all you were sitting on was eight credits? Bro, I dropped that with 112 credits. As soon as I could pay my rent through comedy, I was like 22, and I was like, I'm out of here, mom. And then, like, next month, I had zero money again. <laughs> oh, my God. I paid it literally once. It was like three hundred dollars was my rent at that time. You know, I was living in like a giant punk house, and I was like, ah, I got the cat by the tail. And then next month, I was like, fuck, what have I done? Wait, so eight credits is what's once? That's less than a semester, right? It's less than three classes, yeah. Holy shit! But I tested out on one online, which was like English one or something. It's yeah. Like, what's a comma? What's an apostrophe? Like that kind of shit. And then I took like a five credit Spanish intensive online, which was cool because I wanted to learn Spanish anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm how's an official Roadrunner alumni. Hell yeah, dude. It's the ro- they're the Roadrunners. Yeah, because if you go to Metro, you're probably running away from something. How you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? It, it's, the, it's the largest commuter campus on that side of the Mississippi. And University of Colorado is there, as is Community College of Denver. And it was just, like, the worst. It was no, uh, no dorms, no college atmosphere. It was just for, like, 44-year-old widowers. Yeah. You know? Like, and they would be in class with me. Yeah. And we're all, like, you know, learning about... I was a rhetoric and public address major. It was just, like... Really? So Hitler wasn't that great, but, boy, could he talk. <laughs> <laughs> Stalin, Lenin, like, idolizing these monsters. <clears throat> I guess Hitler was pretty good, huh? You yeah, talking... worked a crowd like Hitler. Dude, dude. come on. Crush. I know, but it's so... It's, so, it's, hard, yeah, to, yeah. it's hard to wrap your mind around, you know what I mean? Because oh, it's yeah. just, like... You just separate the art from the artist, Chris. <laughs> well, no, no it's, yeah, I think it's just one of those things where, you, I, like, you kind of had to be in that moment yeah. <clears throat> to really appreciate, like, what he was doing was innovative. Yeah, you know, because now it feels like moment. hacky and like yeah. over the top. Right. You know what I mean? When yeah. I watch Hitler, I'm like, Dude, who's following this guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's don't too they stu- aggressive. Don't, do they teach the? The Hitler the, method? No, yeah, like the, <laughs> yeah. The, the the way he was talking and. It's like There's the Meisner method. and stuff, yeah. Yeah. They well, can't, right? But do they? Well, like, you had, like... Mussolini. You looked at it through the lens of Orwellian logic and rhetoric and Burke's pentad and all this bullshit that I forgot all about. And, like, yeah, he, like, checked, like, four of the five boxes on, like, Burke's perfect pentad of oratory uh, excellence or whatever. Like, he was very good in front of the room. I mean, he fucking mobilized a genocide. Yeah. You, you got to be able, you know, he's not just doing crowd work up there. <laughs> yeah, he gets some solid bits. And then one of the best closers ever, they say. Well, <laughs> the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the act out. I heard he would, he would like, he would stand up there, like he'd get up there and he'd like, he'd just take a time, a lot of time to start. He did like a Mark twain kind he of did, thing. He did, yeah. He let yeah. everyone get completely silent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. He was and the then, first to hump the stool. <laughs> I am, uh... Tr- that dude, that footage would be amazing. Yeah. Hitler humping the stool. Mm-hmm. Bunch of Germans. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm marching I, off to war. You're nerdy. G- Gardini stole half my Lucy's. Oh, he did? Good. No, nah, I gave him half. Yeah. Little boy likes him. He likes that peppermint snap in his fucking mouth, I guess. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did he take any of the gum? Yeah. I gave him nice. half, the, half the bulk load. Lucy, Lucy, I don't think they're sharing upstairs Lucy, as much. Lucy so I, Caboosey. I take care of the little baby boy. Yeah. Lucy Breakers is the adult version of finding a toy in your cereal box. <laughs> it's actually a brilliant idea if like you just like adult toys. Yeah. 
Like yeah. for a push to get more women to your brand, you just hide dildos and cereal, <laughs> cereal boxes. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's just chicks are doing Lucy on the streets. Yes. Uh, it's the nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. Lucy Breakers have tiny capsules that burst open to unleash delicious flavors like mint, mango, berry, and espresso. You've seen it, right? It has like a little, like for the, for yeah, the yeah, mint yeah, one, yeah, it's like yeah, a little yeah. pellet. It is. It's nice. My brother used to smoke those cigarettes where you could camel crush. Oh, crushed? Yeah. Ugh. And they had the same idea. You just snap this menthol thing Ugh. if you wanted to be an urban smoker. I hated camel crushes. They're for dirt balls. Yeah. Not Lucy's, though. Lucy Breakers have tiny capsules that burst open to unleash delicious flavors like mint, mango, berry, and espresso. I fucked with the espresso one, actually. Yeah. I, I think the espresso it, one is a brilliant idea. It gave me a, a bolt in the morning because I miss smoking yeah. a cigarette and having a coffee in the backyard. I know. I know. Cursing at the birds. On a summer morning, there's dew on the grass. Mm. You're hot. It's sticky. Oh, For some reason, I like a hot cigarette. <laughs> when it's hot out? Yeah. I like to run when it's like 85 and humid. Yes, dude. When you just I want immediately to start sweating. sweating. Yeah. Yes. Because it usually fantastic. takes you 45 minutes to fucking sweat. Yeah. Right. Now you can do it with a little espresso in your mouth. That's true. You can go on a hot run with <laughs> espresso gum. You can throw or, up last night's whiskey all, <laughs> over, all over a fucking food truck. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy nicotine like you've never had it before and treat yourself whenever and wherever you want with Lucy Breakers. The unique and flavorful way to get your fix. Visit Lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O and use promo code Stuff Island to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free, by the way. Uh, visit Lucy.com. That's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, not com, dot C-O. Promo code Stuff Island to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Okay? Hell yeah. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is aged verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. We're not implying that Lucy can be used to quit spo smoking. It's just to have fun and, yeah. and learn how to boogie Gardini board. uses it to augment his smoking. Like to not smoke as much or in between? No, no, just, yeah. Just riding a fucking indoors. nicotine wave it's all an day. Indoor, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an indoor option. Yeah, yeah. That makes it's sense. Indoor, outdoor, yeah. He seems like an indoor smoker. I'm surprised he's not. Uh, I think he is, you know, if he can. Like when the, when there's no guests Yeah, over. there's no rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he wants to smoke inside, but he can't. So sometimes he rocks the... I don't know if that's if we're legally allowed to say that, but whatever. Uh, all right, guys. Let's take a moment and thank my favorite sponsor of all the sponsors, Sheath Underwear. Sheath makes the most comfortable boxer briefs, briefs I've ever worn in my life. I do not wear anything else. Every time you hear my voice, every time you see my face, just know that I am in a wonderfully comfortable pair of sheath boxer briefs, unless I forget to do my laundry. And then I'm in tight cotton panties. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new That jam up my ass. Yeah. If I, if, dude, in the summer, summer walking, forget it. No, yes. no, no. no. Yes. What, this is what you do. We're already in April, it's early April. Depending on when you hear this, uh, you got to go through all your underwear drawer. Anything yes. that's not completely polyester, get it the fuck out. Yes. All you're gonna do is soak whatever pants you have on, dude. Because it's like it's literally dipping your underwear in, in water and then putting khakis over it. Oh my god! It's you, the bunch, bunch the, of crunch, oh dude. God. It is the bunch <laughs> is a nightmare when you're in Manhattan. <clears throat> you're so far from home. Two avenues. And it's two, just two avenues, it's like a drop in a sponge into a tub. <laughs> Dude, it is. <laughs> just soggy panties. <laughs> it sucks my every ass. Seat, every seat you, you sit on, like in a in a coffee shop, you get up and it's just a swamp. Yeah. It's a nightmare. That's why I like sheath, because it's like they got stretchy fabric made out of moisture wicking <laughs> technology. They're super soft and they keep everything cool and comfortable and right in place. Uh yeah, sheath is particularly useful for staying cool if you're working out or you're in a hot environment. But you know what? I like them in cold environments as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. you do because you walk around here ass nude when it's like 20 degrees, dude. Dude, yeah. I run just hot, in your undies. Dude. I run hot. Um, I used to be the guy who just went and bought a six pack of Hanes underwear. Didn't think about it at all till Sheath sent me a pair of their underwear. I put it on and I was like, I can never go back. Particularly, I love the dual pouches, okay? Because you can separate your penis from your balls. Mm. They keep your man parts separated, and it's a game changer. If you're a little bit skeptical as I would, I'd say give it a try. But even if you don't want to use the dual pouches, you don't have to. You can just wear them like regular pair of boxer briefs, and it'll be the most comfortable underwear you've ever put on your body. 
They also make materials like bamboo and mesh for even more cooling comfort. They have bamboo shirts and hoodies for the wintertime, so check that out. Go to Sheath Underwear and get the most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear. And if you use promo code Stuff Island, you will also get 20% off your entire order. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code Stuff Island for 20% off your entire order. Got it? I, I cooked a ch- piece of chicken. I'm starting to get a little tingle. You're going to have to dump? And I'm try- I, know, I can't tell if I'm giving myself a panic attack about eating raw chicken. You'll be fine. Or there's a chance I'm going to fucking raw chicken. Yeah. throw up out my ass. Raw the chicken's ring. fine. We've all been there. Yeah. <coughs> How long ago did you eat it? An hour. Oh, yeah. It won't affect you yet. It's like two, right? No, it's like six to eight hours. Everyone really? thinks that they just ate something and it made them sick, but in reality, food poisoning takes like a lot longer than an hour or two hours. All right, yeah. good. I'll beat your show tonight. Cool, yeah, come on down. Yeah. yeah. How's the Union Hall's bathroom? Bro, I've never been there. This is my first headlining shows ever in New York. That's great. Yeah. I wish this was, this is a pre-record, so. Well, it's all good. The first one sold out immediately, and they were like, do you want to add another one? I was like, Let's of course, go. I'm yeah. bulletproof. <laughs> And now there's like 60 of 100 tickets sold. <laughs> I'm like, That's fuck. still good. It's a nice venue for that. I'm stoked, man. Dude, that awesome. room is fucking great. Sick. Yes. That room what is time's very, your show? very can, good. Can we swing by? Yeah, 7.30, 9.30. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Coming down. I'd love to see y'all. Yeah. It'll, I'll it'll go to be, the later one, It'll be like uh, that Santa Barbara show we did. <laughs> Dude. What you happened? You talked about that yet? No. Brother, that's been making me giggle so much. <laughs> we did that Don't Tell. I have a Don't Tell. Everyone go watch it on YouTube. Yeah, check that out. Chris it's was great. there. Yeah. It was like me, you, Joey Avery. Oh, it's the one that just happened, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. just went? Yeah. In Santa Barbara. And Chris is such a unique specimen. Oh, it t- was, say less. <laughs> bro. <laughs> say less. <laughs> what do you do? Brad, right? And like all day you just like walked along the beach and you're like, it's beautiful here. I could live here. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was just like eyes open like he was in Paris. And this guy Brad is like uh, telling us before the show, he's like, it's going to go great. We got the best camera crew. These <laughs> yeah. are the best crowds. Uh, you have nothing you need is not going to be there. Yeah. You're all going to kill. We're going to put it online. It's going to go great. And he's just like telling us how great it's going to go. And then Chris is like, can you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> Like in front of him and all of the comedians. Is this the guy running the show? Yeah, well, yeah. dude, I was like, first of all, first of all, I thought I was going to like LA to do shows. Yeah. All right. So I'm already like, I don't know. This is going to suck. Yeah, Chip LA's on your shoulder. Like, I had the whatever. same beef. Were you then, drunk on the plane on the way no, there? No, no, no. Yeah. And then, like, uh, and then we get then we're, we're it turns out we're going to Santa Barbara. I didn't didn't even look up Santa Barbara like yeah. on a map. I had no idea where it was. And then Santa Barbara is like the fucking nicest place I've ever seen. Yeah, like so much of California. Like I don't, I've never I haven't spent that much time in California. Every time I see a new part of California, I'm like I can't believe this is the same country. <laughs> I know. This is like it's fucking epic out here. It's crazy. It's like Santa Fe on the beach. Yeah. So it's beautiful. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's also the most expensive place outside of San Francisco, right? It was. It's like impossible to dude. Yeah. It, this is like it's like a beautiful town cut into like a mountainside, and then off on the, like off the water, there's like literally like Jurassic Park. There's yeah. like these islands that look like fucking incredible, mm-hmm. just like mountains coming out of the sea. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, I can't do stand up here. I, can't. <laughs> I don't make sense here. This is all wrong. And then, and then this guy is doing a pre-show meeting, and he's like, if you fuck up a line, we can re-record it. I'm like, yeah. stop saying shit. <laughs> like yeah. it's just like like it's like the, it's like the best way to get. In someone's head, it's like if you trip while you're going up on stage, it's like now I'm going to be thinking about every step on the fucking way up. I was just going to go up there and do my thing. Now I'm thinking about all the ways I'm going to fuck this up and they'll fix it for me on the back end. And it's just like, I was just like, what did he say when he said shut the fuck up? He was just going through all the ways you could fuck up and they'll still be able to fix it. How did he respond to that? Uh, I I don't even remember. He like laughed it off and I was like, I think I was like, Classic Chris. <laughs> right, everybody? <laughs> it was, yeah. Well, how'd the show go? Awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking crushed. Yeah, so was he was great. right. Yeah, was yeah. He, was, he was totally right. I fucked up a line in the beginning, and then I spent the whole rest of the time just thinking about it. It's like, well, he's going to ask me to re-record that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm re-recording anything. No, yeah. No, Did they give you the option of putting it out, or does he put it out for you? They give yeah. you an option to do any edits you want to yeah. it. You know, they couldn't be more, like, friendly to the artist or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. They are great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was, I was stoked just, to do it. You were just, you just it was like I was, such I a was perfect, on one. beautiful I was, setting. <laughs> You're like, I can't exist in this. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's not allowed in heaven. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's a hell of a rude awakening. It's just You see Chris sometimes. He's just in the morning. Just. <laughs> I caught him on the edge of his bed facing the kitchen, like the opening. And yeah. Like, oh, no. Yeah. Staring at nothing. And uh -huh. I was like, I, should I ask now? Or yeah. Do you want me to head out? <laughs> I'll come back. I'll give you some time. And he's like, just yeah, sometimes nothing. You, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you just think about all the all the future conversations you're not going to be able to handle. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I is, I've never thought that no. way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is so <laughs> insane. Dude, just a whole lifetime of stressful social interactions you're not going to be able to deal with. Man. And yeah, it's just it's like, crazy how dark he gets. fucking Christ. Because I want to help him sometimes, and I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, everything. And I'm like, dude, this is the best we've, we've done. Yeah. This, we're, this is, we're clear sailing here. Right. He's like, just all of it. Dude. Everything. Yeah, dude. Like, oh, we got to go on that deep sea fishing trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we can eat hot dogs every day for the rest of our lives. We, we only can do sold out we want. three or four shows in Toronto last weekend. Yeah, right. Dude. Dude, I was up there fucking shaking <laughs> keys at him. <laughs> <laughs> One of my shows had nine, and I was like, here we go, dude. What's we your birthday? <laughs> We fucking uh, did. We say this in the last show. Did we talk about the Toronto shows at all? I don't know. I so don't we walked so. in it. The first show was its first show was at eight yeah. on Thursday or Friday, at eight and ten thirty, whatever. We walk in. It's seven forty-five. Uh -huh. uh, we're, he's addressing us to the green room, which is uh, it's. I never even saw the green room. It's a dilapidated yeah. uh, bunker in Iraq. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. fucking yes. hell. You wouldn't be yeah. able to walk through it. Yeah. The ceilings were like here. Mm -hmm. Chris was yeah. fucking mighty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chris <laughs> is walking through yeah, a castle door. They yeah, stayed in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Magic college. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was Dude. clown college. Dude. So as we're getting to the, the top of the steps, you could see the showroom, obviously, from the bar, and mm -hmm. there's four people. Yeah. Two mm -hmm. of them have canes. Yeah. Like, uh, old, with blue uh, hairs. No. And I was, Chris is walking down first, and he just goes, <laughs> he gave me this smirk, like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this is going to be one of those birthday party type shows. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, finally... He's shooting the shit with the, the manager because he knew him. I didn't know the guy, so I'm just pacing like a lion. Like, I'm trying to get this energy out. Like, oh, all. you didn't? Oh, okay. No. Well, you're acting like you guys were boys. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is not good, right? Yeah. This is not good. I finally, like, I couldn't. My anxiety came out, and I was like, this is a fucking mess, right? <laughs> and I thought like, he was pointing to the. <laughs> oh, the ceiling? The drop <laughs> ceiling? Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's literally <laughs> AstroTurf stapled to the ceiling. There was, dude. <laughs> like, it was like, like Elvis's living room. It was grass on the fucking. <laughs> Shot up TV. Yeah. 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 Uh, this isn't good, right? This coming down. <laughs> yeah. And he finally was like, no, 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 your tickets, we'll, the years you guys are almost sold out and they'll show up. And we went upstairs, sure enough, like 15 minutes later and the place was fucking loaded. Mm -hmm. But good Lord. But that was some scary fucking shit. I was like, four shows of this and this is the first one? Yeah. It would be hell. It was yeah. a good show. Shout out Toronto. Shout out... Uh, the comedy ro royal comedy theater <laughs> yeah, couldn't be yeah. less royal. I yeah. thought it was couldn't be less of a theater. Uh, yeah, I was expecting nothing but like half French speaking people. Yeah, yeah. Some British speaking. The Royal Comedy Theater. Yeah. Barely two of those things go on in there. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we tried to bring the comedy of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Canada, it's great. Canada is a strange place. I don't. We never learned about it. Did you guys ever learn about Canada? We were busy learning about indigenous tribes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're just buried in Native American history and color. Oh God, really? true. Fuck. Is brutal. it all like guilt? Like, no, it's like they didn't teach us any of the cool stuff or the honorable, like, uh, admirable aspects of being like out there, you know, as an indigenous. It was just like they like topaz and song. Yeah, <laughs> they eat roots. It's yeah. like, dude, where's the scalp hunters? You know, where's yeah, the boys yeah. who brought hell to Custer? Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of shit that like a fifth grader would love to learn. Yes, you know. Yeah, and they're like they would often make flutes out of willows. And you're like, <laughs> Shut up! And then we'd have to go to like the Native American History Museum. That's boring. Yeah. You can only see so many bad drawings on a deer skin before you're like, come on. Yeah, dude. Yeah. There's not even any tits or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most paintings, or most museums, you'll see like a hooter, you know? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get some nude babes. Right. But that is that is an annoying thing, and they always try to do stuff where they're like, the Native Americans didn't have, an, didn't have a word for lie. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what? Yeah. That's insulting. Right. It's insulting it's to them. Very condescending Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, wait, they... You, I, they weren't capable of deception. Mm -hmm. I got caught watching Who this video these? of like the soldier, American soldiers talking to like an, uh, a native chief. 
about like land and why why who should be getting what and it's of course from like this alt right fucking course. Twitter follower it's like they should be teaching this in, cl in class and essentially it's the white soldier being like oh yeah were you the honorable men that that stole this land from your previous people it's basically accusing the native of killing a whole entire nation of other natives and yeah. that's why they're no different other than bringing gunpowder and guns to the fucking... <laughs> yeah, and this guy's yeah. like, this fucking right-wing dude is beating off to this. Like, Jeez. I told you, we're the same. Yeah. There's got to be no worse job on earth right now than a high school history teacher or, like, a college... Like, dude. Teacher in general, but, yeah. <laughs> history is dude. fraught with peril right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. every God day. Like what you... you misgender second <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> it's it, how much is slavery is, like, skipped over from... You know, from even when we went to school. Dude, they do not skip it now. That's what I, I mean. I bet they pound yes, it. Yes, yeah. that's all it Dude, is. Dude, we got pounded with it pretty hard. I, didn't, I don't we think we every did. Every other grade, his, the, it was all slavery. Yeah, I was in ninth grade I remember grade being kind of pissed happened. off about it at the time. All the slavery shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. was kind of like, what? What was going on in Europe? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we've... We I, I, I don't any, remember anything about the Greeks. I didn't learn anything about... In American French history class? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was like weird general stuff, mm -hmm. you know. This is still general history. Uh, chapter though, three, the more Tony yeah. neighborhood uh -huh. of Greece. Yeah, man. I don't know. I, I would not want to be a teacher to America's youth. Yeah. yeah. No. There's a house two blocks down that has marble on the siding. The whole, the whole building's marble. Yeah. Is it a school? No, it's a fucking, it's, a, it's clearly a Greek's home. Oh, okay. They marbled the siding. Yeah. So it's just a giant marble box. Could also be a Muslim family. They it could, get could be a mosque. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe they, yeah, I guess you could. <laughs> you pillars. could transition a residential house into a mosque, right? Yeah. I think so. All right. Well, stop Anywhere throwing, can stop be a throwing mosque. eggs at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll quit mooning it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm bringing the heat. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just gaudy enough. <laughs> I think we get it. You guys know Ismail Lufti? Yeah. Lufti? Yeah. He came to the show last night, <clears throat> and he, like, made some joke about me being fat. And I was like, shouldn't you be eating a fig somewhere? Because <laughs> it's Ramadan. <laughs> Speaking of Is the it, fucking, I, it's always Ramadan. I feel yeah. like. the, uh, it's always Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is every time I buy a vape. Every time I buy a vape, the guys like yeah, I haven't eaten all day. It's Ramadan. It's like, wasn't it Ramadan two weeks every ago? Every time what? I turn around, it's fucking Ramadan. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that hurt. That's, that's one of the funniest things I've heard in a while. <laughs> it's always yeah, Ramadan. Are there multiple Ramadans? <laughs> There's Eid. <laughs> they, they have parties. They, yeah. have, they have holidays Dude, like we do. It's, the so, Jew, it's like the Jews during December. It's like, again, with this? Yeah. <laughs> I know you're trying to avoid Christmas, but yeah. another week. I know, but everyone's jolly during Christmas. We're not all starving ourselves. Yeah, but dude, when the, the sun goes down and they rip into that fucking dude, prune holy pile, Christmas. it's a party, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'd be I'd be eating seven course meal in a tub, so I didn't have to get up to shit. Yeah, I would just <laughs> yeah, dude, burger after burger, uh -huh. yeah. and just run the water. It's like you're dude. in seven. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, because I'll I was in uh, in Dearborn where my wife's from uh, during Ramadan a couple times. Yeah, you just like go to the park after dark, and everyone's like handing you little like oranges and like pieces of. Food, it's awesome. An orange. Yeah, they go gather in the park and they like break fast as a community and it's like beautiful and sick and they yeah. just share with everyone. Or an orange is not a breaking fast. Well, they well, usually they break with fruit. Well, you slowly do it. Fruit? Don't you? Yeah. Don't you yeah. have to initiate some sugar and water before you just start? It's like when you're lost at sea, you can't just it's start gorging. a day. Yeah, it's been like 18 hours or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it? Not... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I mean, in my understanding, I think, it's, I think it's from sundown <laughs> to sun up. You yeah, can't yeah. eat when the sun's up. But that's for a long period of time. Yeah, I think it's like two weeks or something. Okay, yeah. yeah. Every day for two weeks, you got to fast. Brother, I don't know if we should be talking about this. <laughs> we're not the I ones. He thinks it's Ramadan 365. <laughs> True. We're, yeah. we're safe, dude. He thought Ramadan was DLC for Skyrim. It's kind yeah. of a sick. It is a sick. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, my brothers. I yeah, love you. Yeah, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Ramadan this Mubarak. Guy, Ramadan this is Kareem. the white devil. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. I, I think that would be a fun... If we had a thing where we all starved ourselves for two weeks... If we had any kind of belief system yeah. here, too. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, fucking Lent is 40 days of 
<laughs> giving up jerking off. No, but nobody, that's like, nobody does that. Yeah. Were you I did in great to school. not eating during the day, all of us. Mm -hmm. 18 be, hours be fun is, as fuck yeah. for two weeks. It's not that long. 18 hours. You know? It's not that crazy. I know, but no, it's, it's fun. Not. It'd be, mm -hmm. it's like, you, Let's do, everyone's I, cycling together. I'd do yeah. it. The first five do years of comedy, I fasted for 18 hours and then I'd eat dollar sliced pizza and get fucked up with yeah. free drink tickets for like three years straight. Oh, for sure. That's all yeah. I did. Yeah. That's truly, I, I, when I tell people I fast, I, I'm up to like 16, 18 hours a day now. It's because mm. of not having money for the first five, yeah, six years of comedy. Your oh, body sure. just gets used to it. Yeah. So just one meal a day. Yeah. Yeah. In your first five, six years, that was vaudeville. It's a, it a different time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you old bitch. No. <laughs> I didn't start till I was 29. Okay, was yeah, so was Vietnam was on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't deserve any of this. I'm kidding. Also, my favorite fig story is... Uh, <laughs> I what a wild way <laughs> to start a sentence. <laughs> well, this fucking this giant... is the only fig story. It's <laughs> the only one I got. It really is the only fig story I got. Oh. Outside of my Dego aunt. But this big wop, there's like a 6'5 wop that, that uh, is the cousin that does all the work around here for, for the, the other owner, right? Yeah. And he's dumb as rocks. He's fucking, he, he's whatever. So he's got to fix these doors. And it's been six months since he promised to come measure the doors. Before that... They redid the bathroom, and he had his guys sawing all of the marble and wood in the house without a drop, a drape, whatever the fuck it is. Drop cloth, uh, yeah. Drop cloth. So this entire apartment was an inch of sawdust yeah. and marble dust. We're obviously livid. So Chris is like, this fucking guy, and he's getting all nuts with me, obviously. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, this guy comes in. And he's huge. He's like, I'm here to do the apartment. It's Snuffle off against dude. dude. It's yeah, he's, he's the man. He yeah. walks like exactly. He walks like Snuffy. <laughs> <laughs> so he opens the he's back door. The you hear the bell ring, and then he's got to duck under because he's a he's eight feet yeah. tall. Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> What do you guys you guys nobody's touching the fig tree yet? And I was like, What? And he goes, The fig tree, you haven't clipped it yet. And I'm like, it's not ours. And he goes, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he goes, whatever's hanging on our side of the fence is good. So, guy, look out, Chris. It's, it's Chris and the dudes like this. These are the heads. And the big fucking, the big giraffe, the, the Italian giraffe is grabbing Dude, ripping it, figs off. Yeah. Hand on the Chris. Chris is like, Mm. <laughs> They're yeah. bonding over a fake dude. dude yeah. it, was, it was like a monkey and the elephant. Dude. Dude. <laughs> it, was, it was like it was dude, so cute. When he reached up, I swear I saw <clears throat> a, just a trunk. It looked like it, like <laughs> when an elephant grabs a branch and just rips everything Strips, off. Yeah. Yeah. It was, dude. It was exactly that. It was uh, a Christmas was card amazing. level of, of ad adorable. Yeah. And I couldn't get my phone in time because oh, I like, ran because my phone was on the charger. I was like, I'd come back and they're, they're already walking towards yeah. it. Just having him, a, a, a giant ape. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. incredible. Yeah. He was literally grabbing like a core branch and bending it down and <laughs> uh -huh. just plucking them off and handing them to me. Popping them like Eminem. It was, dude, it was fantastic. Yeah. Whatever's on our side of the fence. Is ours. Yeah. So now I, I can't that. talk shit to this guy because Chris is like, he's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, I he like taught him. me figs, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a swarthy individual. He's Tommy, supposed to you're doing stand up again. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I remember when we were talking at Skankfest and you were like, I'm gonna get back into it. Yeah. 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 This this stuff island here helped me. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's the greatest. It. It's yeah. it's been so wonderful. Yeah. It's been wonderful. I've heard. I've heard you're doing great. Yeah. yeah. I just gotta get a lot more material. Because sure, I'm we all you do, know, man. this is the first the first run through of twenty minutes and I'm tired of telling I'm not tired of telling it because I'm still excited about going from city to city. Yeah. But uh yeah, the love is back, baby. Yeah, the man, fire great, dude. fire's on. Yeah. Inshallah, my brother. Inshallah. Yeah. I am filled with figs. Figs and joy. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> We're going to, uh, we have dates? Yeah, Portland. We're going to Portland and Tacoma, hopefully San Francisco. We, have to, yeah, we, we have need to, to get line to something Fran. up in San Francisco. The link on San Fran is, <clears throat> is, is... It's not. It's right. It's what's up there is right. Okay. Uh, we're getting a lot of messages that... that we, it's different from the poster. The poster's wrong. Ah, poster's wrong. <clears throat> okay. Well, we'll be in San Fran at some point. We're going to post the date. Uh... And then we're also going to be in Huntington, New York with yeah, Shane. Yeah. And April 21st. April 21st. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you got? Yeah, what's got, what what's you got going, going on? on? You got some dates? I got, uh, I guess, Philadelphia Helium, April 19th. Nice. Yeah, I'll be down there for that. Uh, Houston, the 20th, the 21st in Lafayette, and then, like, oh, uh, the Middle Ground Comedy Fest. Uh, yeah, I got samtalent.com as my dates. I'm going oh, to sick, Ecuador dude. for all of May. That fucking That's, rules, dude. Yeah. Where? Where are you going? Oh, dude, listen to this, bro. Uh... The last, like, 
I think like the 29th to like May 6th, they're doing like this mockumentary at the Baja 1000 from like to like uh, Tijuana all the way to the bottom of Baja, Mexico. Oh shit! And I'm like the funny guy in the mockumentary. Really? Like, gonna do the Baja 1000? No, that's yeah, fucking dude. incredible. Yeah, it's gonna be mental. Is that the the fucking the cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like uh, <clears throat> they're like, like the dune buggies and yes, shit. Yes, yeah, yeah. The ones yeah. with the that's fin? fucking rules. No, I think it's like there's like uh, four separate like. Uh, Axles or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, cars, but. it's like it's, it's like it's yeah. What the it's fuck a race is the name though, of that right? car? Yeah. yeah, but it's all like is it dangerous. It's like super like kitted out. Fuck. It. It's like I feel like it's like just roll bars and oh. fucking wheels. Yeah, and they it goes fly. across the desert. Yeah. I used to make one of those little those Subaru. To do like oh, yeah. fast mm. fast cars. I thought mm. they were all just for lesbians. You know. Yeah. No. They're not. No. No. Mm. They're like they're respected amongst the. Uh, they're the guys who yeah. don't eat pussy. It's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> the opposite. Yeah. True. Hmm. Well, that's fucking great. That's going to be incredible. Are you in a car? Goggles? I'm in a car in like the the support vehicle. So you wait. You just fly behind them in the yeah, back, and then I got to get out and like riff with locals, and you know, like <laughs> I right, let the camera roll. I'm like all bumped around for eight hours. It's going to be. You got brutal. that one dude. semester Roadrunner Spanish going, dude. Dude, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Are that, you trying to you trying to up the? Uh... That's why I'm going to Ecuador for all of May because my wife's doing Spanish medicine down there. Awesome. So it's like a fully immersive experience. We live with a family, so yeah. Whoa. Hopefully, I'll come back like. A lot better in Spanish. Yeah, that'd be. Are Mas you gonna be? Whore. Where are you gonna be in Ecuador? Uh, Rio Bamba. A Rio Bamba. Is that on the water? Uh huh. No. Closer to the water. It's not like too elevated. You got a guest bedroom for uh, friends? Hey man, come on down. We sure that for the Ecuador. Ecuadorian family will be stoked to have everyone. <laughs> My, I had a buddy who lived in Ecuador for six years. He made like uh, he had like a pizza place slash bar on oh. the water in Montanita, and I almost went oh, down life. there and ran it with him. Yeah. Nah, I should have. I, I always wanted so to do that. Fun. I mean, the, the, the closest I got was the kayaks, running running kayaks in Jersey Beach. Mm -hmm. Dude, but I could do that. I know a lot of guys that would they would travel. They'd come in the winters. They'd go to like uh, Hawaii or South American bars and just bartend. Oh yeah, and then for they'd sure. Come back here in the summer. The issue with do that, I guess, is you don't like stack cash like you do when you go other places. It, yeah, it's still South America, you know. Yeah. yeah, but it's still like you know you're just like fucking. Face deep in some of the finest gas oh, in the world. Oh my dude, God. that's the that, that's all the stories they tell. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's still but Catholics. It's, there's no condoms allowed. <laughs> they age like presidents too, though, because yeah. they're just in the sun all day long, and they're mm -hmm. fucking, you know, they're they're raisin faced. Yeah. By the time they're like forty <laughs> years old, they look six. They look like shipwreck victims. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're not sleeping from all the coke and pussy. No, no, I love wears to go down there. Mm -hmm. Hence my gray hair. You I know love what I mean? to brother. Go down there. You're such a fine piece of ass. Yes, was man. That, was that your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. She's beautiful. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna. She looks like a drawing in a prisoner's notebook. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be excited to hear that. There's like a 19 year old somewhere with her tattooed on the back, so the, so the boys don't feel gay when they savage him. <laughs> she is, she is fucking gorgeous, Thank dude. You. Oh yeah. Thank you. When she came out, I was like, did I bump my head? <laughs> Who's this goddess? Damn. <laughs> she's yeah. gonna go wild. She's Brother. a huge fan. And of she was, oh, she was like, I gotta give you a hug. Everyone yeah. loves you. And yeah. I was like, I'll stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you come down to me. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a glizzy. <laughs> Glizzy's coming out. Yeah. You don't mind hot dogs, dear? <laughs> just a hot dog. That's horseradish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just come. <laughs> Oh, yeah, fuck, you dude. guys are fucking living, man. It's we awesome. Are. It's been nice, dude. Yeah, yeah, the rise, the ascent. It's been fun. Yeah. We hit a wall a little bit, uh -huh. you know, but we're getting. I I got real lazy as we were going on the road. We we haven't been filming any of the look at dish. Yeah. So we got some plan. We got one Saturday and one next week. We're gonna try and film like four or five in a row. Yeah. Log them because it's a it's shitload of editing. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, obviously, we're getting a lot of people saying like, where where is it? Where is it? But it's. It's a day shoot, essentially, mm -hmm. you know? It's a lot of prep work. It's a lot yeah. of... So we're going to do, like, different leveling, uh, like, varying levels of difficulty. I'm sure ones. they'll ride for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to realign and reassess the whole company. For my, <laughs> for my pod, Chubby Behemoth. It's like Behemoth. Same comedic industry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chubby Behemoth does, you know, Lund. Yeah, yeah. We have a pod, and we're, for one of our $20 patrons, he sends them mail. And initially it was like, hey, here's a handwritten letter. Here's a cool T-shirt, you know? And now it's just like fucking shit that he assembles. 
He's like, here's <laughs> <Dude>. some stickers. <laughs> this cool bottle cap I found, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his old merch he didn't want. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But not yours, I mean? No, yeah, no. It's like... Do you have merch? That'd be fun. I'd like to build fully assembled Lego things and send them to people. That'd Jesus Because I want to build Lego shit, but I, we, there's nowhere to put it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got a whole middle room here. filled with... Dog shit. Dude, you it's can, full of all of the podcasts. No, but you put shelves and stuff, and you can put all your <laughs> autistic achievements. Yeah. <laughs> you can build magic college of real life. Dude, yeah. 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 That is funny, having like a room of art, but it just says autistic achievements. And yeah. it's just like, all the shit you built. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stores. celebrate your triumphs, man. If you put it together, you gotta hang it up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but now that's why I'm getting into video gaming, because I just, I got I gotta do something. I'm going to put it all. I just, yeah, I like, yeah. Well, well we got to start funny. doing the I fucking. I got to get into magic college, dude. This is a problem. <laughs> I didn't accept my application. Well, we got to start yeah. doing the onward shit again with the fans. Yeah. I don't even know if we still have people in that category. Yeah, or you do. would we game do. with them. Yeah. 25 yeah. hours here, we yeah. game yeah. with them for like two hours. We were doing yeah. it once a week. Yeah, That's And cool. it's fun as fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that there's only room for like, for the golf game, you only have a foursome. Yeah. We don't know how to do like a group of two I'd like foursomes. to do it like during the day somehow. That's what I like a Saturday or like a Sunday. Yeah, you know what on I the mean? road. Yeah. Well, cause the, the well the thing is we like film it. We need the like computer to like live stream it and mm. shit. It's a lot but of technical there's bullshit. All, there's a lot there's a lot of technical bullshit that goes into it. But also the other thing is like we're just trying to do as much stand up as possible. Right, so yeah. you want to like go out at you night and like fucking yeah. But yeah. Sun shining. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta report your soul right now, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's like Dude, you gotta, springs around the corner. I was just thinking, what I was like, what's up with these two? And it's just you're both studs. That you sucks. Because you're, you're both like well put together, handsome guys. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that. It's true. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> it does make the first five minutes and five rows of of uh, comedy difficult. Yeah. Because all the dudes are just like thinking you're gonna fuck, fuck their girl. Like, don't laugh yeah, at exactly. that. Exactly. Well, I, I don't, don't think, think anyone's that. thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's thinking that. Guys get that. upset. I Who walk said on this? stage. I don't think anyone's like, this guy's gonna be a problem. <laughs> you trip on stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. This sucks. Everything <laughs> sucks. Remember that meal we went to after Santa Barbara? Yeah, that and we was were fantastic. just like talking about how, <laughs> how beautiful life is. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you, well, you dude, the first like, hour after a kill shot, there, yeah. And oh, it's also just Santa Barbara is bright. so nice. Yeah. Dude, anytime I go to a nice place, I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> right. Yeah. What am I doing? You're I gotta map wine. that place out. Just be shaping surfboards <laughs> on a beach somewhere. Yeah, just dude. like fucking. Yeah. I got to map Santa Barbara out to where my brother lives. Oh, go over I'll there. I got to find out. No, we don't talk. Oh, uh, never he mind. He lives in Santa Barbara? Yeah, it's apparently. Really? In Santa Barbara? Yeah. 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 SB. It's beautiful. It's unbelievable. I know. I've been there once. Mm -hmm. Palm trees and shit. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. We, I saw, met up with you and the sun was going down behind you. It was just oh, cotton candy my skies. Dude. Over you got the any water. pics? I think so. You guys don't have any, like, group buddy pics? I think we took a picture at dinner. Yeah. And that was the night you're like, yeah, that was the most I've ever been in love. Yeah, it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. We, like, we were like, riding bicycles is great. <laughs> it was oh, like, dude. It was like nothing that anyone thinks about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. In fact, when he got fucking blitzed at uh, Skankfest uh -huh. on mushrooms and yeah. had a bad trip. Oh, yeah. You know the story, right? Uh, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, t I was texting Shane. Uh, and texting Chris, I was like, "Are you guys still fucked up? Because I'm I haven't been able to sleep in like oh, twelve yeah. twelve hours." Shane didn't get back to me because he was sleeping. Uh -huh. And Chris is like, "Yeah, man, me too." Uh, and then he just says, "I'm Denver." Yeah, and I was like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. And I thought he was taking a plane to go see this girl uh -huh. and this love because I thought like something clicked. And he's like, "I gotta get this girl yeah. back in my life." And he's like, "Nah, I just wanted to see the mountains." <laughs> yeah. He's just hiking by himself. I just want to <sighs> see mountains. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's powerful. Uh -huh. I do want her back in my life, but there's no there's no way it could work. So she's kind of like a oh, yeah, she's right? like oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh that's right, right. <laughs> whoa, dude, yeah. oh, whoa, yeah. which is I love. It's so fun to be. Dude, around. a girl in a beanie gets me going. Oh my yeah. god, for it. yeah, mm -hmm. that's a Colorado thing though, right? Like the a more masculine type, like athletic. I think capable might be the term. Capable. Not that most women are incapable, but like these are women who have like. Have been skill kind sets. of imbued with some amount of like outdoor skills. And yes, stuff. or yeah. they know how to set up a tent, like that kind of shit. You Dude, know? there's nothing hotter than this, like a snowboarder, oh, yeah. a hot snowboard Dude. girl. I can think of one person who's hotter, and she was here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reeling. Dude, I meant just the 
the athleticism. No, for sure. When yeah. you see, just see, watching a woman who's like a good runner is so hot. Girl to with me. a long neck and a ponytail. Oh, Dude, mm-hmm. see ya. And yeah. this girl was just bludgeoning me with like one new sick location after another. It's Colorado, you know I mean? man. Just driving up like. Here's a fucking sick glacier, and she yeah. like, or she just start running into the woods, and I just start chasing her. Yeah. And it was just like, we went wind up at some just like clearing. Yeah, it's beautiful mountains. This like is why snow. you know it's you like get, it's the middle of summer, but it's snowing up yeah. there. You, you know gotta fall I mean? in love like, with a woman in like Cincinnati, you yeah. know. So you really truly some chili pig. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah some bowling alley pig yeah, from some, some shitty town. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that way you can look forward to them. Dude, I think you got I, yeah, I think I need to get into the mountains more. Yeah, I think dude. I like I think I need to like I think I need to this is the thing. I, I need to really start like examining myself. You know what I <laughs> what mean? What brings joy? What yeah, and like really I gotta start like watching what I eat. I feel like my brain is a lot more delicate of a thing than I've been, you know, treating it like. Mm-hmm. And I think I I think I need to like set aside time to run through the woods. This this sounds like Ted Kaczynski's diary. <laughs> no, no. I hate Ted Kaczynski actually. <laughs> My dad just read his manifesto. Yeah, and everyone's How like, he it? got it oh. so right. He's, he's just a fucking scared bitch. Yeah. Shut yeah. the fuck up. He was also rock. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't show. handle the future, dude. We're all scared. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah. out of your fucking hut. Right, yeah. <laughs> At least he you did just, something about it. Just, I, do, I hate him so you hate much. Ted, Teddy K. I hate people Teddy who K. Riles you up. Endlessly whinge about how scary the future is. It's like, yes, yeah. it is. Right. Also, it's not going to change. Even like, when the conspiracy like, theorists like they, it comes out true, it's like, yeah, it's not going to bother you. It's not going to affect you at all. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like voting for somebody you don't agree with be- to save a hundred thousand in taxes. You're going to play the fucking game mm-hmm. until money affects your life. Just exist. Yeah. Go to restaurants you like. Plug a hole you don't think you should be in. Yeah, don't don't <laughs> kill people because you don't like the internet. Like that's the most pathetic shit. He would have hated ever. Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he would have blew up yeah. fucking clown college yeah. for sure. <laughs> he would have taken him to the servers. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, I, yeah, I but hate he does it. have the same, you know, that the, the mentality that you're you're showing me now is like, you know, he builds bombs. He's like he. You know, he likes isolation. He likes the beauty. Yeah. You could get up there and, and change your, you know, things could shift. You're no. talking about having a delicate skull. No. I'll what never, if it goes wrong? I'll never do that. You can't so, fight. You can't fight the future, dude. What you if can't old, fight it? I don't old know, dude. Joe. You three months in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. You might be figuring out how to fit some fucking fuses into a letter. <laughs> sure, <dude. laughs> no. The twenty dollar tier on the merch thing is getting a different type of delivery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude. <laughs> we found this man with his head blown off wearing a stuff island hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like most of these. Just my first attempt at making a bomb. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blow the shit out of myself. <laughs> yeah. But the merch holds up. It's like it Tony's quality yeah, merch. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah I have, yeah. I have one of those hoodies. They're badass. Nice. They Does are, it fit yeah. well? Yeah. Well, right, no, good. but I wear it around still. It's <laughs> <laughs> a two X, but you know. That's all we got. Yeah. We got two X uh, t-shirts. Hey, I'll take one. Yeah, you should. We have a whole. Uh, you know, it's in the autistic um, memorial mm-hmm. <laughs> in the middle yeah. room. But uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. <laughs> this has been an hour? Yeah. I really? So. Yeah. Damn, that fucking flew by. I'm going, well, a couple minutes. I'm going to, uh, the, I'm going to go try the 730 show. Cool, yeah, come on down. If that's okay. Do I have to be on a list or I have to pay? You want me to no, pay? No, I'll put you on a list. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Support I'll the arts. I'll bring that diamond dude. ice so you can stare at it a little you should, bit. You should pay. Support the arts. You guys I will pay. If, do you get my? I'll give him twenty dollars and I don't drink after. No, dude, I've, I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing much better I'm than doing us. Doing okay. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Ecuador that. for a month. That's gonna be. Yeah, but I'm also living in squalor. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. 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 It's like five hundred bucks to live there for the month, and they serve all your meals. That's Whoa. good. You live in a house with them. You know, a lot of plantains, gerbils. <laughs> that kind of shit. I mean, it's going to be very healthy for you too, right? It'll be great. Dude. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'll finally finish the second book. It's going to be perfect. Yes, Ooh. sir. Yeah, so first book is spectacular. Is it a no, whole new no, adventure? No, that guy's dead. It's yeah, a whole new yeah. adventure. Yeah. yeah How I'm close are you? On it. To say- I, I need thirty days of dedicated writing time, and it's done. Really? Yes, because I can't write on the road. But yeah, I'll have this fucking twenty-five days in Ecuador, and it'll be done. When you say you can't write wow. on the road, do you mean just creatively because you're, you're exerting your your juices? No, it's up? like it's Drinking like too much. We drink, but then also you want to go and hang out with the boys. Yeah, you want to yeah. go to the botanical gardens. You want to go down to the market. Like yep. I want to still live out there. Yeah, I mean, if it's Kansas City in December, like of course I can write there because I'm not going to leave the fucking hotel. Yeah, you know, it's just like go to the fucking hot tub and then order Domino's and feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> no, I just it's tough to ride on the road. 
I don't have a process. I mean, I used to go to a coffee shop, and I really want to finish this script thing I'm doing. Yeah. And it's the first run of it, you know, the first, like, it's probably the second version right now. It's like 62 pages, and I want to get to 56. And every time I reread it, I'm like, ah, I need a headspace that I'm, I'm not used to. Like, mm -hmm. that exercise you have is like, you know, you just like, it's like getting into a gym uniform and know, knowing you're going to go work out. Yeah. I don't have that wiring. Do you mm -hmm. map it out or do you just sit down and write? No. Uh, yeah, I just sit down and write. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's so there's no organic. tracing arcs yeah. at all other than, do you know where you want it to end, obviously? Nah, I, I know where I want it to end now, but I'm like 40,000 words into it. But yeah, initially I was just like, this guy's fun. Where, what's he up to? You know? And then, yeah. You just let him kind of bump around. And then you go back in the rewriting process and connect all the A's to the Z's, you know? But yeah, so it's, this it's a lot me, more fun that way. This this makes me hard. Yeah, like yeah. hearing this creative process makes me... Writing's fun. I'll man. probably text you a couple things. It makes me intimidated. Call me any time. Why? I don't know. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I have a character and I go, what's he doing? And it's just sitting. Yeah, but a lot of people sit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. there's a lot of true to life just... moments that are very boring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You like, you write what you know, my friend, and <laughs> you as a human being are, are an incredible character, no matter what the situation is. Yeah. You really are, dude. You're a Seinfeld character in a way where, like, you bring a certain mentality and energy to any room that is interesting. This is yeah. a compliment. But that's another f thing. Where anytime I write a line like that, I just feels forced. I yeah, know, of course you're cool. writing. There you go. Yeah. See, that's the kind of advice I need. <laughs> this is exactly yeah. what you need. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. You got to kill the voice in your head that says, that's gay. Yeah. Because all yeah. the stuff that you that's say, that's gay, voice. rules. Yeah. All of it rules. 100%. Like, oh, I'm writing. Oh, yeah. now I'm going to go on a walk in the park. <laughs> oh, there's a farmer's market? <laughs> all the shit. That, yeah. Until I was like 28, was like, don't do that. Yeah. That's for homos. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they live big, be bold, bold, beautiful yes. lives. Yes. Yeah, of course. This is, I also do have a fear that, like, when you do stop saying, you know, answering the voice in your head or listening, it's like, I'm afraid that you'll change. And I can't have you changing right now. I don't it's like how so. comic says, like, well, I can't go to therapy. You know, yeah. I won't be funny anymore. It's uh -huh. like, yeah, you will, you fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, we got to No, that is that therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Needs yeah. therapy. Definitely <laughs> needs some therapy. But yeah, that voice is, the voice is strong. Yeah. Because it's been fortified by yeah. everyone you've known for years and years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And booze. Oh, booze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, the, all the toxic things we pour into our bodies to yeah. kill that little giggling voice inside. You know, yeah. I haven't gotten yeah. that wine yet. I'm going to get some live. Oh, yeah. Get, get some pet nats. Yeah. Pet that nats. was so wonderful. Yeah. What a great day that was. Dude, and that was like the first time we ever hung out. Yeah. And it was That's, just the best early courtship. You know? I told. I and me and you. We had yeah, very yeah, fleeting yeah. interactions. Yeah. 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 I tell everybody perfect. about it. It was the first Fallon. big hang. That was awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Everyone I was so all special the next day, dude. Oh my god, fuck me! Do you know how much we drank, dude? And I think I brought over six bottles, and then we also had a bottle of whiskey. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had a thirty pack. Yeah, a Bud Lights, a Bud right. Light, and then we had I think twelve Guinness. I know that I had more than enough yeah. Guinnesses to get drunk alone on Guinness. <laughs> dude, and those dude, came there out was late only into the night. I think there was four of us. Yeah, five of us. Did we go out after that? No, dude, no. I went back. <laughs> no, I fell face first into my fucking... I never do that. Yeah. I remember waking up face first backwards on my fucking bed. <laughs> like the head was at the foot. Yeah. I was in town for a wedding, and I went and met up with my friends who came in from Colorado that night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I just remember them being like, you were a fucking nuisance. <laughs> you showed up just a problem, <laughs> and you didn't stop. I guess we even, like went for a walk by the water somewhere in Brooklyn, and they were like, yeah, you were just going up to like, Latino kids and being like, you want to see a new dance move? <laughs> A lot of the things you did, did, if you did them alone, you would have yes. got killed. Imagine, <laughs> yeah. well, man, your stature and size. Oh, no, dude, 15, oh, sure. four 15-year-old yeah. Latinos, they they'd rip me in half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess the kid was, like, dribbling a basketball, and I, was, like, I like, stole it from him. <laughs> <laughs> he was pissed. I, none of this I remember. I was fucking gone. <laughs> dude, that is the most dangerous thing you can do is go from like, that that energy switch yeah. in the yeah. environment <laughs> to the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, you're eating... You're in tater tot pizza and get <laughs> shit faced. Yeah. And then you're in a night fight. Like a wedding, yeah. Yeah, a wedding hang. <laughs> How did you <laughs> <and> Sam die? <laughs> you know, By this. living. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, you're the.